हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग नमस्ते आई होप यू ऑल आर सेट विद योर सप्लाईज राईट नाव एज यू नो वी आर गोइंग टू वर्क इन अ सिक्स इंच बाय सिक्स इंच स्क्वायर यू कैन ड्रॉ अ सिक्स इंच बाय सिक्स इंच स्क्वायर ऑन एनी पेपर एनी प्रिंटर पेपर ड्रॉइंग शीट और एनी स्मूथ शीट आई एम गोइंग टू यूज दिस प्री कट शीट एज यू नो दीज आर द आर्टिस्ट टाइप्स एंड दे आर प्री कट इन अ सिक्स इंच बाय सिक्स इंच स्क्वायर आई एम गोइंग टू यूज वन ब्लैक मार्कर पेन दिस द माइक्रॉन जीरो एट पिगमा सकूरा पेन एंड वन पेंसिल एनी ग्रेफाइट पेंसिल विल वर्क एंड वन ब्लैंडिंग डिवाइस यू कैन यूज एनी क्यू टेप इयरबर्ड और एनी ब्लैंडिंग स्टम्प वॉट एवर यू हैव एंड फॉर स्पेशली यू नो दीज स्पायरल आर्ट सेशंस वी आई यू नो लाइक वी डोंट नो वॉट इट विल कम आउट एज अ रिजल्ट एज यू सी दीज आर द फ्यू स्पायरल आर्ट वी जस्ट डिसाइड द स्ट्रिंग लाइक हाउ टू स्टार्ट इट एंड देन द फाइनल रिजल्ट इज वेरी अमेजिंग एंड because we don't know how it will look at as the final result so that's the fun doing this art session this is just a small half an hour kind of the art session and we just know the string i generally decide my string earlier and then we just go ahead about it but my all zen doodle and my all mandala sessions you can see all the pictures previously like these are the two uh, compositions which we are going to do this friday and this sunday seems like it is stuck my screen is it coming well yep but my our table seems like stuck sorry guys there was some little glitch so these are the two pattern so generally for all the zen doodle pattern and for all the mandala pattern you can see in the thumbnail but this is spiral art session is the mysterious session you don't know how it's going to look at the end once again i am your host nidhi prakash for this session and my husband ajay prakash is the co-host for your session hey folks how are you and he is going to give you reply back in the chat Thank you Ajay let's start so as you all know we always start it with the boundary so you can start drawing the boundary free hand or if you want you can start drawing the boundary with the ruler it's absolutely your choice So this is the boundary. Now I'm going to draw one line in the kind of, you know, kind of divided half with the horizontal line in the middle. So if you want you can use ruler, you can mark it and you can do it definitely the way you want. But for the spiral art, I always prefer doing it freehand. then we are going to draw one triangle here and one more line here after drawing the string i'll give you time don't worry guys here you go so this is our today's string for the spiral art Thank you Akansha. Yes, I'm waiting Surbhi. Now I have just capped my pen. You can see I'm waiting and I would like everybody to draw this string and then we'll start the spirals. Please write down in the chat when you guys are done drawing the string so that we all can start together.
I'm waiting, Akansha. Take your time. Oh, hi, Anvita. Thank you, Arsha. Thank you for your feedback. Thank you, Priyanshi. Thank you, Preeti. So, Akansha, I just drew the line. Like, at first, I drew this center horizontal line, then these two vertical lines, then the triangle, and all these horizontal and vertical lines, and divided this into the string. Thank you, Preeti, Raghav, Kriti. And now, we'll start the spiral. So, we'll start from this top left corner, guys. Start from the top left corner and we'll go towards the right hand side. Like the clockwise. You can use any color marker pen. It's absolutely your choice. Only the black color gives the better contrast. We are working on the white paper. That's why we support to use the black paper, black color marker pen. But you know as a variety you can use different colors it's absolutely your choice and keep making keep making these if your lines are closer like they have not very much distance so they will look much prettier but if you want to keep your artwork a little bit more easy you can keep your lines a little loose okay again it seems like my table is oh, oh, it's working so this one we went clockwise and again uh, do you want yeah, so Varsha I'm using micron 08 pen the tip size is 0 0.5 mm Akansha I started from this top left corner and I go clockwise how I go look carefully I'm just focusing it again okay I zoomed it as you see again in this one we are going to start from this corner and we will go clockwise so slanted line like start from the corner and go little slanted then again start from the corner and go little slanted then again start from the corner go little slanted then again go little slanted that's how it is supposed to be so we keep making lines and we keep drawing the slanted lines that is how we are going to make the spirals that's the spiral art means you do not understand it's no problem you don't draw right now Akansha look carefully look me in the few blocks it's just the repeated pattern we started from the corner and we always go slanted so always we go slanted Take your time, Akansha. Don't draw right now. Just take a look at my art table, okay? You can easily re-watch this video after the session and then that, that time you can redraw re it or maybe draw it. So this time I would suggest you to focus on my art table so that you can easily understand my strokes. Once you get the trick, it's really very easy and very very satisfying and fun drawing awesome it's great now we'll start from this corner the second block and again we'll start from the corner and we will go clockwise Spiral art is a pure repeated pattern because we are just making the same slanted lines. We just take care of where to start and which direction to go. 
Just take care of these two things and then you are good. And at the end of the session, I'll give you the tip how to uh, like keep them safe, your artwork, and how to keep the directions and everything to note it down so that whenever you want to repeat it with any color pencils or uh, with any other different medium, so you know how to achieve this kind of pattern. So at the end of the session, if I forget, please remind me. I'm going to tell uh, you about can you wait uh, for people to catch up okay okay i'm waiting take your time so till we are waiting let me remind you guys if you have not subscribed my channel please go leave the chat go out subscribe the channel and click on the thumbs up button that will really help me and in that way whenever i go live you will get notification and you won't miss any of my uh, these live sessions so once a week i do these spiral art once a week i do zen doodle every sunday and then every friday either the zen doodle or the mandala art as you can see those are also repeated patterns so you can see all my schedule at my discord if you are not at the discord you can join the discord you can see the discord link on the chat and Discord works best if you download the app first. So download the app Discord and then you can join it. Uh, so Bhavna has a question. So she probably joined late. Uh, she wants to know how to start it? Yeah, I think so. So Bhavna, I did this square boundary, then I cut it into the half, then I made a lot of squares and made a big triangle into the center. Still you not get it, you can rewind it thus uh, this stream after the session and then you can see it and then we are going to draw all these spiral art uh, all three sections we did clockwise again you can see in this one we are starting from this corner guys look carefully and then we are going to do the clockwise spirals <laughs> <laughs> do you guys see these funny noises these little little you know avatars on the bottom they are so funny so in this one uh, I'm trying to do it but it's nowhere close to what you are doing almost one here. no problem Shafak keep doing keep doing if you are enjoying drawing you will definitely get it and I always say this please don't compare your work to any other work Consider my work as your reference work. Please don't compare, enjoy the process and keep drawing. Again, we are going to work on this block and we are going to go clockwise. And guys, when you are done, don't forget to submit your work at the Art Corner channel at Discord. There you will see other participants work too. And I will see all of your work and it gives me inspiration, you know. And you will be surprised to see how participants are submitting their work with adding their own elements too like sometimes they add colors various colors in different places. sometimes just the gray pen various tones of gray pens sometimes they are making some more pattern around it and i just forgot the name starting with the d one participant submitted one beautiful uh, mandala in the center and all these spiral arts all around that mandala and that was awesome beautiful submission you can see that in the art corner so in the art corner you can submit your own other artworks also you know whatever you are working at home if you need any feedback any suggestions or any queries about different art materials or anything you can talk with me in the discord i will definitely try to reply you back there so after the session if you want to connect with me you can join my discord server i love drawing these spiral art they are so much fun now we are going to draw in this pattern and again we are going to start from the top left corner of this box and we will go clockwise uh, 
uh, I think there's an issue with the video. Oh, again? I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what's happening today. It seems like some internet problem. Sorry guys, it seems like there is some internet issue is going on. So that's why the every like other 10 minutes the internet is like kind of breaking off. But the best part is when I restart, so it's kind of connecting back. At least we can conduct our session. Thank you for your patience guys. Keep drawing, keep drawing. And you know, sometimes you can do little cheating also. I'm going to show you how to do that. Let me finish this block. And if you want, you can see at my art table. As you can see, like here, I left little extra space. So if I want, I can just draw one line here. You can call it a cheating, you can call it a trick, right? Now we are going to work in these two blocks exactly the way we are doing. I use a thin tip pen today. It's coming out so beautiful. Yay, Gitanjali. Awesome. I would love to see your submission. Don't forget to show me your work once you are done. And I know some of you must be using different color marker pen and maybe you can use different color marker pen once you are done drawing with the black pen. And then you can use the different color marker pen to fill some of the areas. And today's art is basically, you can see there are a lot of these twisted columns instead of the fans. So generally in the spiral art, you get two kind of two shapes, kind of mainly, either the twisted column or the spiral art or the uh, fan. So, so far you have seen a lot of twisted columns, right? And there is no harm in twisting your paper according to your hand's position so that you get a beautiful lines. Every time your line should touch to the other line, it's kind of all the slanted until you reach to the center of the shape. Beautiful. Now we are going to do this shape. This one also. Wait a bit. Okay, Raji. So these are Raji all similar. All these all boxes which I have done so far all started with the top left corner and they all are going clockwise, like from here and the clockwise. And after this. We are going to work in this left part of the block and that is exactly opposite to this right part. I'm sorry, we are going to work on the right part of the block that is exactly opposite to this, the left part. And then there is a little twist in the triangle. So keep drawing and if sometimes if you draw way too much space you have left by mistake you can go ahead and you can do little like one line drawing like that. Now we are going to work in this left part. Casting screen to study TV has ended again. It's showing some oh my god. What's happening? A 
what's happening today sorry guys and again as I told you earlier the best part is that we are not stuck kind of we are coming back so guys look carefully in this part we are going to come we are going to draw the spiral but this time we are going to draw all the spirals anti-clockwise the way we drew all the spirals here in this block all the clockwise these all with the all the anti-clockwise we will start from the top right corner this time okay and we will go towards the left hand side I have seen that a lot of participants are using ruler for these kind of lines it's absolutely your choice guys although today's spiral uh, in this set in this design our blocks are pretty small <clears throat> sometimes blocks are very big so we uh, we have to draw very big lines so you can use ruler it's absolutely your choice if you want to use there is no hard and fast rule now we are going to work in this one good morning good evening mom i'm so glad to see you here keep drawing slanted spirals until you reach to the corner of the I mean the center of the shape not the corner like this it seems like again it's got stuck Aju. oh it's, it's working so again we are going to the top right corner of the block and we will go anti-clockwise means towards the left hand side so in this all these side blocks we are going to start from the top right corner of the block and we will go anti-clockwise and I'm so excited because there is a very beautiful twist today in the triangle. Let's quickly finish this and then we will do the twist. <laughs> Again, these little avatars are making these funny noises. You can make these kind of patterns in any size of page, in any kind of shape, like uh, in circular or in any any other different kind of shape. It's absolutely uh, depends on what kind of project you are working on. You can make them in a very big like kind of picture, uh, in a bigger size paper. It's absolutely. Thank you Akansha. Now we are going to work in this one again from the top right corner and we will go clockwise. And this time you are going to see what shape we are going to get in the center of this page. So far we have just got the twisted columns. Let's see what we get this time. Any guesses guys? Can you guess what we are going to get in the center part right now after this block? We have already got a lot of twisted columns. And 
after drawing this block we are going to get one new shape let's see if anyone is writing here So we got this beautiful fan shape. So these all are the twisted columns and this is the fan. These are the two shapes which we achieve generally in our spiral art. Either the twisted column or the fan. Yes, Raji. So guys, write down one or two. If you are drawing along with me just write down one in the chat and if you are just enjoying watching me drawing if you are not drawing and just watching the session maybe you can draw later or you can just enjoy watching then just write two it would be great if you everyone whoever is here with me please write down either one or two awesome thank you Anshu thank you Nuha Preeti what do you mean round we are just all are the squares here we are not making rounds I think thank you Anshu Priyanshi Manson Surbhi Suzy Gitanjali Raji Radhika thank you Sudha Akansha awesome you are done with all the blocks Akansha that's cool Let me finish it quickly and then we will work in the triangle. So as you see we got two fans right in this particular pattern and lots of twisted columns. Yes, Manjula. <laughs> so now we are done with this now we are going to work in this triangle please look carefully how we are going to work in the triangle I just focused on the triangle and oh, like this okay so First, I'm going to make one more, you know, double line in the triangle here. And then it's really very, very easy. It's just making zigzag lines and it looks very beautiful. We are going to stop here, then we are going to make the same thing to the other corner. Oops, you cannot see here. Then we are going to work on the other corner. And we are going to kind of extend them until they touch each other and make one beautiful triangle in between.
so now we got this beautiful triangle in the center guys then we are going to make this line little bit thick here little bit thick here little bit thick here and then we are going to do the exactly the same thing in these corners and here this twist we are doing first time we have done a lot of twists so far and again we are going to make this triangle and one more time the same thing and one more time one more time until we reach to the cord center that's it and now it's a very quick thank you now it's a very quick uh, shading as you see where these lines are ending we are kind of creating that depth right and then we can use our same pen for creating our these you know kind of block you can we can reinforce them a little bit more if we want we can use the graphite pencil if we want we can use the same pen if we want we can use a little thick pen little thick pen is also a nice idea and to reinforce your these twisted columns or the drums whatever you want you can call them you know or if you are if you can associate them with any other thing it's absolutely your choice i should not be in hurry I'm kind of you know switching to the thick pen then it would be easier and the quicker as the same way the same way I'm making the these twisted columns a little bit with the thick pen thick black marker pen and as you see I use the same pen also but with the same pen like I need to draw twice or thrice but when I use this marker pen then I get the neat line and at a one time here I have used the pencil which I'm going to come back with the q-tip for the shading once I'm done with the these bold lines this is absolutely optional guys like if you don't want to do it you can just skip it and maybe if you want to use color pencils or the marker pens you can go ahead and you can use them it's absolutely your choice how you want to go about it okay now as you see I'm going to use the q-tip and for this q-tip with this q-tip i'm just going to blend just going to a little bit you know uh, smudge it or blend it for the beautiful shading to create this depth effect that's it guys I hope you guys enjoyed it and now the last and the most important thing of any these kind of pattern drawing is to sign your artwork you can write your initials you can write full name whatever way you want and write down today's date as today's date is 9.17.20 and after that you are supposed to praise yourself and to praise your artwork you, sh you should say this is a beautiful abstract artwork I made today. Good job, Nidhi Prakash. I'm calling my name. You should call your name aloud. Don't shy and say some good words. Pat your shoulder that we spent this time together beautifully, creatively. And we made this beautiful abstract pattern. And the fun part is like we don't know how it will look in the beginning. So it keeps coming mysteriously and then 
I hope you guys all enjoyed it like the way I enjoyed it. Thank you for joining me. See you tomorrow for this pattern. So tomorrow we are going to draw this pattern at the same time. And Sunday we are going to 